Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss how to run multi-dimensional scaling in SPSS. Multi-dimensional scaling, that is MDS, is a set of statistical techniques used for analyzing and visualizing the level of similarity or dissimilarity of the data. It allows the representation of high-dimensional data in lower-dimensional space, typically 2D or 3D to make the structure of the data more comprehensible. A visual representation of the pattern of proximities, that is similarities or distances among a set of objects is the objective of multidimensional scaling. The branches which are similar to each other are placed by the multidimensional plots near to each other and those branches which are different to each other are placed by multidimensional plots opposite to each other based on a matrix of perceived similarities between the various branches. Name an example. Imagine you have a data on how similar various fruits are based on taste. You might use MDS to create a 2D map where each fruit is a point and fruits with similar taste are placed close together on the map. This visual representation can help in understanding the taste profiles of different fruits and their relative similarities. MDS is a powerful tool for uncovering and visualizing the underlying structure of a complex data, making it widely applicable across various fields. Real life applications, psychometrics and social science. In perceptual mapping, understanding how people perceive different items or brands relative to each other. Attitudinal research, exploring attitudes and preferences by visualizing similarities and responses. Market research, Product positioning, identifying competitive products and understanding consumer preferences. Brand analysis, mapping consumer perceptions of various brands to analyze competitive positioning. Biology and genetics, phylogenetic, phylogenetic analysis, visualizing the genetic similarity between different species. Genomics, understanding relationships and similarities between genetic sequences. Information retrieval. Document similarity, visualizing the similarity between documents based on content. Search engines, enhancing the performance of search engines by understanding document relationships. Economics, consumer preference analysis, understanding the consumer choices and preferences. Economic modeling, visualizing complex economic relationships and interactions. Healthcare, patient similarity analysis, clustering patients based on symptoms or genetic data. Medical research, analyzing similarities between various medical con conditions or treatments. Multidimensional scaling process. The first is finding out the proximities, applying the MDS model, developing the plot on one, two or three dimensions, and then analysis. Compute the distance matrix. Calculate the distance based on similarity and dissimilarity between each pair of items. Don't worry, you don't have to do this. Software will do this. Double centering. Convert the distance matrix into a matrix of scalar products. Eigenvalue de decomposition. Perform eigenvalue decomposition on the centered matrix to ex extract coordinates. Dimension reduction. Select the top n eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors to represent the data in n dimensions. Final coordinates, the coordinates obtained are the positions of the items in the reduced dimens dimensional space. So the final coordinates is the final output. Proximity is a measure to describe the dissimilarity or similarity between pair of objects. It is a measure which quantifies the closeness of the objects. The proximities are represented by an object by object proximity matrix if measured for all pairs of objects in a set. Proximities are typically used for analyzing and visualizing hidden similarity structures by graphical displays or when looking for homogeneous clusters in a set of data points. Proximity values are of three forms, dissimilarities, similarities and correlations. Measures of goodness of fit. Stress measure is a statistics used to evaluate the observed distance matrix produced from poor configuration. We try to model distance, distances in case of multidimensional scaling. The stress values are, if you get the value 0.2, it's poor, 0.1, it's fair, 0 0.050, good, 0 0.025, excellent, 0 0.00, it's perfect. Now, 
Let's run multidimensional scaling in SPSS. So here we are having a data of the model of the car and the variables which we have considered for multidimensional scaling are miles per gallon, number of cylinders, displacement of the vehicle, displacement of the vehicle, horsepower of the vehicle, displacement rate, weight of the vehicle, Q sec, vertical or straight engine, automatic or manual transmission, number of gears, number of carburetors. Now we'll go in analyze and we will go in scale then we will activate the multi-dimensional scaling cross scale activate uh, activate the create proximities from the data define now transfer all the variables on right hand side click here click on the measure Activate this Z scores by variable between cases continue click OK. So you got the stress and fit measures, final coordinates, and uh, the final plot. So these are the variables written as. 1 to 32 but actually these are cases now what these cases are these are brand of the cars so case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 and their proximity indicates a similarity in these cars see if we talk about this var 22 var 23 var 5 so these are the brands of the car which are similar to each other so this is the first cluster, this is the second cluster, and this is the third cluster. Now, again click here, click here, go in measure, and instead of cases, uh, we will create the MDS for variables. Click continue, click OK, and we got the output. So stress and fit measures. Uh, final coordinates and uh, the final plot. Now let's do the interpretation. I will copy this in the PPT and let's understand the interpretation. The first one, normalize raw stress. The value of 0 0.00958 is very low value indicating an excellent fit. Normalize raw stress value close to zero suggests that the distance in the reduced dimensions uh, space accurately reflects the original distances. Stress 1, this one. The value of 0 0.09786 is within the acceptable range, typically below 0.1. It indicates that the MDS solutions has a good fit, though not as perfect as normalized raw stress. Stress 2. The value of 0.257 is on higher side, indicating a moderate fit. Stress 2 tends to be more lenient than stress 1 and the values below 0.2 are generally acceptable. However, this value suggests that there is a room for improvement in the feet. In the feet. As stress, the low value of 0 0.0129 indicates an excellent fit. As stress measures the square distances and is another way to evaluate the goodness of fit with lower values indicating the better fit. This person accounted for DEF, this one. The, the low value of 0.99 indicates that 99.102 percentage of variance in the original dissimilarities is explained by the distances in the reduced dimension space. This is a very high value indicating an excellent fit. Tucker's coefficient of congruence. The value of 0.99 indicates an almost a perfect fit. Tucker's coefficient of congruence measures the similarity between the original configuration and the MDS configuration with values close to 1 indicating the high congruence. Now let's interpret the coordinates. You can see here uh, the dimension 1 and dimension 2. So we will do the entire interpretation according to the miles per gallon MPG, this one. So positive, positive. For cylinder, it is negative, positive. Displacement, negative, positive. 
let's start the interpretation first we start with mpg dimension one appears to be related to the fuel efficiency mpg variables positively loaded on these dimensions are close are associated with better fuel efficiency while those negatively loaded are associated with lower fuel efficiency dimension two represents other characteristics that may influence vehicle performance and designs such as weight acceleration and transmission time variables with positive value on these dimensions are associated with certain performance characteristics while those with negative values are inversely related to these characteristics mpg 0 0.713 0 0.102 high values on this dimension one indicate that mpg is positively correlated with this dimension its positive value on dimension two is a small indicating a moderate positive correlation with dimension two mpg is associated with better fuel efficiency number of cylinders here it is negative and here positive negative value on the dimension one indicates that the cylinder is inversely related to the variables positively loaded on this dimension see mpg is positive this is negative the value close to zero on dimension two suggests little to no relationship with dimension two fewer cylinders are associated with the better fuel efficiency displacement here it is negative Negative on dimension one indicates an inverse relationship with variables that are positively loaded on this dimension. A small positive value on dimension two suggests a slight positive correlation. Larger displacement is associated with the lower fuel efficiency. Next is horsepower. It is negative on dimension one as well as dimension two. Negative values on both the dimensions suggest, suggest HP is inversely related to variables positively loaded on both the dimensions. Higher horsepower is associated with the lower fuel efficiency. Now let's talk about rear axle ratio, D rate, positive, and this is negative. Positive values on dimension 1 indicates a positive relationship with fuel efficiency, but the negative value on the dimension 2 suggests an inverse relationship with variables that dimension 2 represents weight negative here and positive negative values on dimension one suggest an inverse relationship with fuel efficiency while a positive value on dimension two indicates a positive relationship with the variables represented by dimension two heavier cars tend to have lower fuel efficiency q set that is a quarter mile time both are positive Positive values on both the dimensions indicate QSEC is positively related to fuel efficiency and other variables represented by dimension 2. Faster quarter mile times are associated with better fuel efficiency. VS, engine safe, positive, both are positive. Positive values on both the dimensions suggest a positive relationship with fuel efficiency and other variables represented by both dimensions. Certain engine safes like V-safes are associated with better fuel efficiency. EM. Transmission type that is automatic or manual. So here it is positive, here it is negative. Positive values on dimension 1 and negative on dimension 2 suggest a positive relationship with fuel efficiency, but an inverse relationship with variables represented by dimension 2. Manual transmissions tend to be more fuel efficient. Gears positive, negative, you can see here. Positive on dimension 1 suggests a positive relationship with fuel efficiency, but negative on dimension 2 indicates an inverse relationship with other variables. More gears are generally associated with the better fuel efficiency. Carburetor. Negative, negative. Negative values on both dimensions indicate an inverse relationship with fuel efficiency and other variables. More carburetors are associated with the lower fuel efficiency. So this was all about how to run multidimensional scaling in SPSS. For more videos on advanced data analysis using SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.